Barbell good mornings are the most forgotten about lift and fitness because in spite of the fact that you might have seen Jeff Nippard's video or Dr. Mike's video or even old school bodybuilders doing it, my generation tends to move away from the barbell movements, but more specifically, ones that don't involve heavy weights, but that's the beauty of the barbell good morning. As a power lifter, I want to get the most strength out of the less fatigue. So yes, I do have to lift with heavy weights, but when I can do an exercise that makes me stronger but has little fatigue on the body, I'm going to take that every single time. The barbell good morning is my favorite hamstring exercise because it gets me the sorest and most growth out of just about any deadlift variation, even though it's not a deadlift, and it has direct carryover to the squat. The good morning motion in the hips is very similar, if not the same, to the low bar squat hip hinge. That's why it carries over to the squat and the deadlift. I cannot glaze this exercise harder and it disheartens me because whenever I go to a public gym, which is very rare, I usually lift in my basement, I never see anybody doing this. A lot of times when I was in high school and I first discovered this exercise, it was taught to me by one of my teammates' fathers and I was on the football team, a lot of guys would come up to me and say, you gotta get more depth on your squat. Or they'd say, that's not a lot of weight for someone your size because every time I set up for good mornings or I do good mornings, people will message me, dude, that's not a squat. So many people don't even know that this exercise is an exercise. You would be surprised for those of you who are very nested in fitness, people outside of fitness, when they see you do a good morning, they're gonna look at you like you have seven heads. They're gonna come up to you and go, you're gonna slip a disc that way. I've slipped a disc, it was because my deadlift technique was very poor. My physical therapist was happy and encouraged me to do good mornings because I brought it up to her. I said, I really wanna get good mornings into my routine because we both agreed. It gets you so much hamstring stimulus and growth. And at the time, my goal wasn't strength. It was to strengthen my back because I slipped a disc. Thank God it healed. But my other goal was to get my size back because I was bed bound for so long due to second and third degree burns and the herniated disc. I had a messed up the last couple years that my legs had shrunk. So I wanted to get them big again. And we both agreed the best way for me to hit hamstrings in a home gym was the good morning because even she knew, even from being bed bound, I was still too strong. I could still deadlift in the 300s. Obviously not to the four and 500s that I do now, but I needed more stimulus, but my lower back wasn't prepared to deadlift, but it was prepared for me to play around with 100 pounds, 110 pounds on the good morning. So if you're someone who struggles with back pain, but maybe the, the hamstring curl machine is taken, or you just love doing barbell lifts, this lift is the lift. This is an exercise that you do with light weights. So me doing good mornings tonight with the 165 pounds is going to carry over to my 400 plus pound deadlift. Like I just deadlifted 435 for five reps today. So me doing good mornings with way less than half the weight that I deadlift speaks volumes. It should tell you that this is an exercise that you don't have to stack plates on, but it can get you very, very strong. It's like the opposite of a rack pull. For a rack pull to get you strong, you gotta use a ton of weight, which brings a ton of fatigue. For a good morning to get you strong, you don't have to use that much weight because realistically you can't do that much weight because the weight is so far in front of you. It's kind of like a high bar squat versus a low bar squat, but to the extreme. When you do a high bar squat, the weight is more in front of you. You can't lift with as much weight. It's like a safety bar squat. They're more difficult. By making the exercise more difficult, you actually, ironically, make it less stressful because the heavier that you lift, the less heavy you want to lift. So if I'm going to go all out with 435 like I did, that was a set to failure. I don't want to keep lifting heavy for the rest of the day because I did a lot of fatigue. I did a lot of growth, but I did a lot of fatigue too. So that's the thing with AMRAP sets, right? If you're going to do an AMRAP style of training like I do, you want to do exercises that are less fatiguing because a lot of people think that I train like a nutcase because what kind of power lifter trains to failure? The 70s powerlifters did, the 80s powerlifters did, and they got brutally strong even without steroids. Why? Because they train like I trained, or more I train like they train. I don't use tons of volume because I use a lot of intensity. I would not be as strong or as big in the legs as I am now without the barbell good morning. When I tell you this kills my hamstrings and gives me an absurd pump, 
It does. It shakes my legs worse than deadlifts most of the time. So hopefully this has helped you. Hopefully you try this exercise. It's a very technical lift. Don't hurt your back. You got to be careful. Squeeze your glutes at the bottom. But I've been Logan the Sentinel. I'll see you next time.